President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi held a meeting with the members of the Supreme Judicial Council during which he asserted that the jurisdiction has a great responsibility in achieving peace, justice and the social stability which are considered the cornerstones of the nation's progress. The details follow. President Abdel Fattah Sisi affirmed the great responsibility the judiciary is shouldering in upholding justice and attaining social peace and stability, which are considered pillars in nation's development process. The president's remarks came during his meeting on Saturday with members of the Supreme Council for Judicial Bodies with Justice Minister Omar Marwan in attendance. Presidential spokesperson Ambassador Bassam Radi said the president highlighted that the state is keen on judiciary independence and non-interference in its affairs. Radi added that the head of a state stressed the importance of developing the justice system to make it more effective and to ensure that court decisions are fast and fair in order to guarantee the rights of citizens respected. The meeting came within the framework of marking the Egyptian Judiciary Day, which is celebrated each year in appreciation of the great role played by the judicial institutions and bodies in entrenching and safeguarding the constitutional principles and upholding the rule of law. Members of the Supreme Council for Judicial Bodies voiced appreciation for President Isisi's keenness on meeting with them to mark the Egyptian Judiciary Day. They also pointed out to the great attention paid by the state to the judiciary system. System. The spokesperson further added that uh, they reviewed the procedures taken to swiftly resolve cases in order to enhance the delivery of justice. Justice Minister Councillor Marwan, for his part, asserted the fact that the judiciary during the era of President Sisi witnessed unprecedented attention as women also occupied judicial posts and distinguished judicial figures were honored. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi congratulated Mrs. Georgia Milhoni on the party win in the general elections in Italy, wishing her success in leading Italy towards prosperity and the bright future. Assisi also expressed that he is looking forward to resuming cooperation with her in the framework of historical partnership between the two countries, boosting bilateral ties in all domains. First Lady in Tassada Sisi affirmed the state's continuous care and the full respect to the elders. On her official Facebook account, the First Lady cherished the International Day for Elders, expressing her appreciation for the previous generations who offered unconditional support and contributed to the development of this country. The Interior Ministry continued the efforts in combating crimes of all forms succeeding in targeting the criminal elements. During the past month and in the field of commodities and the supply fraud, security forces have succeeded in filing more than 38,000 cases, including selling gas cylinders and the oil products in the black markets. In the field of uh, traffic discipline, Security forces have filed in more than 4 million violations. Security forces have also filed in more than 1,146 cases in the field of intellectual property and the copyrights. Regarding the tax evasion, more than 10,000 cases were filed. After winning the presidency of the Arab Parliament for another term, Adil al assoumi vowed to cooperate with the Arab parliamentarians to boost the role of the Arab Parliament on the Arab, regional and the international arenas. Addressing the Parliament during the procedural session held to elect the Speaker, al assoumi thanked the parliamentarians for renewing their trust as he also thanked the MP Mohammed al yamahi as an honest rival. Al Asumi asserted that the coming period requires hard work through the tough challenges facing the Arab world, highlighting the positive role the parliament is playing to boost the Arab joint action.